fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 19th of October 2024. I'll apologise quickly in advance in case there is lots of uh, background noise. I seem to be getting a lot of noise at the moment. Um, uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll try to ignore that, I should say, um, as we play our game of Sudoku, which is the New York Times hard level puzzle. Uh, of course, um, Nazi Germany, uh, the Auschwitz and the murder of millions of Jews was not the beginning of Nazism. That's the end of it. But um, the way that they the way that they took over, of course, apart from the uh, taking over the Reichstag and stuff like that, was to uh, um, vilify immigrants or Jews in this case, Jews anybody actually who didn't fit their their plan uh, and they used language like poisoning the blood po poisoning the blood of our nation this was straight out of Mein Kampf and um, guess what Donald Trump has been using this kind of language and now apparently a third of Americans believe that immigrants are poisoning the blood of America isn't this just disgusting uh, it really is just so beyond the pale um, not only that, this is in a, according to a recent poll by the Brookings Institute, and uh, also uh, almost one in four, I think it was <clears throat> almost one in four of Republicans believe that if Donald Trump loses, he should do whatever it takes to regain power. So in other words, you know, an actual coup, uh, not an, just an attempted coup this time, an actual coup, isn't it? Um, indicative of how the situation in the US is going at the moment and how still people haven't been strong enough to stop it which should have happened as soon as Trump was out of power uh, Merrick Garland is I'm afraid not the right choice um, to be Attorney General because he tried to be too much of an institutionalist when fighting against the extremism of, of Trump <clears throat> and the Republicans. Not, it's not just Trump, it's all Republicans at the moment, I think. Even Nikki Haley is apparently considering stumping for him again. Just, oh, don't they make you vomit, <laughs> I'm afraid. Uh, anyway, let's get on with the game of Sudoku instead. That will cheer us up for the weekend. I'm going to start with four blocking this square. These fours blocking, oops, these squares here. Four blocking across here. And let's have a four there then. Okay, we've got two blocking up here and two across here. So what? So nothing. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, forget that idea. We've got nine blocking down here, nine blocking down here. That would give us something. <clears throat> ah, we've got eight and nine across here and eight and nine across here. That might give us something because it's a typical New York Times style of um, strategy. We have eight and nine blocking across there. So we're going to get eight and nine in those squares there. What does it mean? It means we get ones in those squares. Oh, we've got three blocking up here, three across there. So there's our three. And I just said there's our one. <coughs> this is eight and nine. And so this has to be two and six so that will give us twos in those squares and sixes Uh, okay, so one blocks these two squares and this one blocks this square. So in this column, here's our one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> well, my breakfast is uh, stuck in my throat a little. It's a spicy breakfast I had. 
one blocks across here, across here, up here, and up there. So there's a digit one. It looks like we're going to finish the ones. I can see two more. We've got one there. We've got one this way. Oops, one this way, this way. This should be the last one. I'm pretty sure it's the last. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> Just looking at this five. Oh, that's the only five. I was about to say it puts fives there, but actually that's the only five on the board, so it's not that revealing, I guess, after all. What else do we have going across there? Nine, one, three, no, those are already in that block. That's not going to help. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we've got three blocking up here, three up here, which puts three into these two squares. We've got three blocking this square, which puts three into these two squares. So we can only look for three in the middle row here. Now we've got three blocking up there, so that gives us three in that square. Three to the bottom down like so gives us three here, three across here and across here. There's our three, three up here and across there gives us three in that square. <coughs> Seven blocks this square from becoming a seven, so seven has to be here. And for this column, we still need a five. Five is one of our missing digits blocking up here. That will give us five in this square. Five across here, five across there. There's a five. Seven blocks across here, that means seven has to be in one of these two squares blocking across. That will give us seven there. Uh, we already know this was eight. No, we already know this block, don't we? This was eight, nine. We worked that out before. Could have found that seven in a different way, of course. Uh, what's missing from here and here? Two and four, I think. <coughs> this is two and six over here, isn't it? Okay, so that's got to be four or six, of course. I can get this because down here we know we still need five. Oh, I could just do it like this. Let's see what's missing here first. Uh, this is two and three, so this is going to be eight. There's an easier way of finding it. <coughs> eight blocks this square, eight blocks this square, eight blocks this square. So in this column, there's our eight. Okay, we have two blocking up here and two blocking up here. So there's a two and two blocks across here. So there's our two and there is uh, three, three across here, up here and up there gives us three in that square two blocks this square this square and this square to give us two here
let's uh, have a wander through okay two blocks across here so two is in one of these two squares blocking up here two across there that gives me a two here two block no still two there and two there okay three is done what do we know about four Okay, six blocks across here, that puts six into one of those two squares, blocking up here, six across here, that means that's a six, six this way, six that way, that's got to be a six, and the missing number here, nine, <coughs> nine blocking this square, we need a nine in this column, it has to go there, and the missing digit here is seven. Nine blocking down here gives us nine there. Nine blocking up here and across here says that's a nine. Nine down to the bottom and a crisscross here. Nine is finished. Ah, now <coughs> we know this was, I've forgotten what it was. We had eight and nine here, didn't we? There's the eight. There we go. Seven blocks this square, seven blocks this square, so in this column there is our seven. <coughs> not, not a lot more to do, but still it's not finished. Still little bits to be done here. Uh, let me have another look at this. I know this is what two and six. So these squares cannot be two or six. They have to be four, five, seven. Ah. No, we're not there yet. Well, there isn't too much left to look at, is there, really? Uh, let's see again. Ah, here we are. Four blocking down here, 
4 across there. Now 4 has to be in one of these two squares blocking across. So we can say 4 is here. And now 4 blocking up here, 4 across there. There's our 4. 7 blocks this square. That's going to be very useful. 7 goes here. This is a 5. 5 blocks there. There's our 5. This is our 7. 7 blocks down here and 7 across there gives us 7 in that square. The missing digit down here I think is 6. We also have 6 blocking down here. There's our 6. 6 across there. There's our 6. This is a 2. This is a 4. 4 across here. There's the 4. Missing number here. 2. Uh, great stuff. We're almost there. We're almost home and dry now. The missing digit here is 5. Five blocks across here, that gives me a five here, five across there's our five, the missing number here, six. Six across here, put six into that square, this is an eight. Eight blocks down here, giving me an eight there. And four for victory. Thank you very much for joining me for today's relatively straightforward, very straightforward actually, really, I think, game of uh, Sudoku from the New York Times at its hard level. Uh, I'll see you later uh, today, I think, for some more Sudoku. I don't have too many things to be doing today. I've got to take the cat to the hospital again, of course. Take care. Bye-bye.